only five people. You know, five people, and everything was then done manually. For the five years, you know, it was only this tank that we are using. We are using our hand to do the threading, do the labeling. We are cooking the bottles manually with hot water and boiling our bottle with firewood. I used to put my hand in the hot water and give it to the ladies to wash. I would say, it's a coincidence that it started that way, that uh, I thought I could also start a small business just for uh, my living. And it has turned out to be a giant industry now. At that time, I realized that most of the local industries were using the same flavor. And I said, this is not possible. How can we use the same flavor? So when I went to London to make a research, I brought in a different flavor. That made our product a bit distinctive from the one on the market. That's what started it. In the olden days, I saw my father chopping roots and putting it in a bottle and putting alcohol on it. And they, they, he would take it before he eats. And then the, when the alcohol finished, he put another one on it. So I asked myself, what can I do to revolutionize that sort of a traditional, because our fathers, they, they were doing it, not only my father, but most people were, were doing it. I saw it, even in Ghana now, they are still doing it, what they call bitters. I knew at that time that people were selling these herbs at uh, timber markets. And I know there are so many herbalists in, also in my village. There are so many herbalists in Ghana. But because of the safety of the consumers, I decided to go to Center for Scientific Research into Plant Medicine. The Center for Scientific Research into Plant Medicine is uh, a government establishment to conduct research and uh, promote traditional medicine practice in Ghana. Um, it was established in 1975 and uh, the public-private partnership with Casa Preco Company Limited started in 1995 when they approached us to come out with a herbal alcoholic beverage that can uh, possess properties like uh, boosting the immune system, uh, providing energy, and also an aphrodisiac, and, 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 and to top it all, for treating malaria. Our contribution in the partnership involves we providing the concentrate that is coming from seven selected medicinal plants known in Ghana. So we agreed and jointly we came out with this product that we call Alomobites. The name Alomobites, I coined it myself. You know, I coined it myself. You know, they had to use, to use it to sing, make some songs. Alomo, Alomo, oh yeah, Malomo, da da da. And all these things, I said, okay, and that name, we are not saying it again. It was like a stent. So I said, okay, why don't I also bring this name, you know, which is flexible, I say sexier, romantic name, as I did with the Casapreco. Casapreco name literally means straight to the point, right? So for me, I believe, like as a Ghanaian, I believe in Ghanaian. I believe in that culture. That's why I didn't go in to even improve whiskey. I went into the forest, because I'm a village, I'm a villager, I cast my, my, my man back to the village and saw what my fathers were doing, our grandfathers were doing, and then put you know, a modern scientific aspect to their traditional habit of drinking, and that's how Alumbo Bites came about. We have invested close to 30 million US dollars as Casa Preco Company Limited in developing a state-of-the-art factory, um, which would uh, replace our current production facilities, which have served us well for over 10 to 15 years. The significance of this investment is that it really does take us into the big league. Um, we are reliably informed by the manufacturers that this will be the fastest spirit-filling line in the world that's ever been put together. Again, another significant first for our country, Ghana. Um, and indeed, it means that we are raising the bar as far as um, the bottling business and indeed the packaging business is concerned in our country. I'm not sure how the chairman got my name or my numbers. 
um, but I was told about the job by a German colleague of mine. And just driving home before Christmas in 2011, I had a phone call. Could I come to Ghana? So, yes, yeah, send me a ticket, I'll come. So I came. We discussed his plans, his thoughts, his views. I told him my terms of what we can do, what we can't do. We agreed to go ahead. That was the beginning of the Casapreco expansion project. I came and, and brought the idea. The area where you see now, where we're sitting, was no more than a field. This was basically, there was a scrap yard here. That's where every, all the rubbish got put here. It was the only area we had. We maximized the size of the building through drawings and decided to go ahead. When I came at the end of December 2011, there was trucks, dozens of trucks parked outside. There was a terrific demand for the product, in particular Lomo Bitters. The old existing lines could not satisfy demand. People were having to wait one week, two weeks just for product. So we decided, yes, let's go. We must, they must expand. Uh, obviously then with the expansion project going on, we need more utilities, we need more power, we need more water. So we have two brand new 1250 kVA generators, all fully automatic. We have a, a reverse osmosis water treatment plant that will give us 50 cubic meters per hour. We have a water storage facility that will store 3000 cubic meters per hour per in the tank. That's 3 million liters of water we have in a new storage tank. We have the edge over anybody in Ghana as far as the technical expertise goes and the, the, the quality of production and the volume of production. The lines are fully automated. The PET line that we have is one of the fastest alcohol bottling lines in the world. Each machine has its own operator. Those operators all have either HND, HNC or have degrees mechanical or electrical. They are highly skilled guys. They are well paid. For production output, let me give you a quick example, is that the old glass line, and it's still running, the output there is about 7,000 bottles per hour. For our new glass line, we'll be doing 30,000 bottles per hour. For our, what we call the Tico bottle, the flash bottle, we will be doing 40,000 bottles per hour. This is the Lava Tech KES bottle water from Cruz, which has a capacity of 10,000 bottles at a time, and then a speed of 40,000 bottles per an hour. This is a single energy type, a, a user free bottle washer, which is so easy to operate. As you can see, the gear boxes are not linked as the old type that we have, whereby they have cardanic shafts linking them. This one, each gear box has its own motor attached to it, its encoders on it, making it so easy to adjust the speed or the, the chain distribution. It makes it easier. Now the reverse osmosis plant is probably the biggest plant in West Africa, the, this reverse osmosis plant. It will deliver pure water to the consumers. And this is what we add to our products in uh, Casa Preco. It makes Casa Preco as achievers is uh, in terms of uh, brand development. He started with gin and then came out with Lomo. And now as we speak, we have around 19 SKUs. We have 13 brands. And now not, we're not only in Ghana, but we're in Nigeria. We are in uh, uh, other countries. Uh, we're developing South Africa. We're going to Tanzania. We're looking at Cameroon, we're looking at um, uh, other countries like Angola, Kenya, Ethiopia. We're looking at all these countries. We're going international. The flagship product of Casa Preco is the Alumu Gin Bitters. And this is a very functional product. Uh, basically, what I mean by a functional product is was you're taking it as a recreational drink, you're also gifting the benefits, medicinal benefits, or the medicinal values of 
the product. So it's, that's why we call it a functional product. Any point in time, whilst you're enjoying relaxing with your alumu in your home, in your bar, in your social gathering, or wherever it is, you would at the same time, as part of your intake or usage of the product, be enjoying some medicinal values as well. So most people, yes, would say yes, they go for the medicinal value, but at the same time, also people can enjoy it as an appetizer. It's also uh, what do you call it? I mean, it has so many values, including. Uh, 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 being a product that helps with your blood circulation and all of those things, you know. So people have a lot of good reviews about this product. Our vision is to grow the company as big as we can. That is why I told you that uh, we have a line that we are sending from Nigeria. That line produces 40,000 bottles per hour. And all of these products, not even a single bottle from that line is being sold in Ghana. They are all for exports. But I know how uh, Johnny Walker started. You know, John Walker, it's his, his, children, his children who made it, Johnny Walker, after he, uh, he, he died. So the same thing that uh, we want Alamo Beatles to be an international brand as Johnny Walker. So we are making conscious effort. As we are speaking, we have Casa Precon, Nigeria Limited. We have the company incorporated in Nigeria. We are not just selling there. We have the company there. You have a country manager. You have a, our staff there. You have Casa Precon. Tanzania Limited is also there. It's incorporated. We are operating. You have a license to ship to South Africa. So we already started shipping to South Africa. And then this year, we have targeting Cameroon, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Kenya, also in Africa. I went to Italy myself, and I saw the product myself. Not that someone told me. I went to Britain, I saw it myself. I went to the United States myself, I saw it there. I went to Germany, I saw it there. So why can't we grow it? We're going to have a distributor in Germany. We have one also in the United States of America. So we're trying to portray Casa Precon and its brand as an international brand. The product itself is going. So why, why don't we, why can't we give it a push? So with a right push, I think in the next very near future, you have a product that will also be an international brand as Coca-Cola or the Worker, as we are mentioning. The equipment that we have installed with the two new lines, the glass and the PT, can compete with anybody in the world. We are world class. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Mama won't go. Now me dey men anti-brebre. Now my bedu. Me dey men anti-brebre. Now my bedu.